All right, guys, welcome to a brand new video today. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about bugs that exist in Fortnite uh, that should probably be fixed before the World Cup, considering anyone could play in the World Cup. Um, so most people, I feel like probably around like 40% at least uh, of the Fortnite population is at least going to try and qualify. And for people that experience these bugs in the middle of World Cup qualifiers when that much money is on the line, um, it's going to be a little frustrating. And just because anyone can play it, I feel like Twitter is just going to absolutely absolutely blow up with people complaining about getting dumb bugs um, and potentially not qualifying because because of them oh, oh uh, obviously like overall it, it might just be people making excuses um, but it does matter especially when like there's a lot of scenarios where people don't qualify by just a just barely just a tiny bit um, so minimizing the effects of these bugs and these problems uh, is the number one priority I think right now for Fortnite so I wanted to go over a few of them um, in case some of you guys were unaware of them so you can look out for them in the World Cup uh, and if anyone at Epic is watching this so that they can try and fix them the first thing is something that happened to my teammate and the guy that I'm gonna be playing with for the World Cup his name is Bay Soldier and he went to pop a chug jug and uh, sometimes you know you'll accidentally cancel the chug jug by swapping to another um, like weapon or item in your inventory too quickly uh, but that wasn't the case at all he, he held it the whole entire time and the chug just didn't work apparently it's because and this is what a lot of people on Twitter were saying when I posted a video of it apparently it's because like if you drop anything or add anything to your inventory um, while you're popping the chug it cancels it and it, it's not like it cancels it immediately um, it'll let the chug the chug run all the way through it and it just won't do anything so though technically you can avoid it by just not doing anything in your inventory while you're popping a chug jug um, it would definitely be ideal to fix it, especially considering I feel like the majority of players don't really know about it. And just so you know what I'm talking about, I'm going to roll the clip of that happening to him right now. I'm going to try and pop this. Just hold for right. me. There's uh, yeah. <clears throat> a mini here. You want me to grab the mini? Yeah, yeah, it's fine. I'm going to... Or how many minis do you have? One. Okay. I'll, I'm going to grab these boogies. We got a dip. Yeah, let's go, let's go. This way, this way. Which way are you? Okay. Dude, I, I didn't pop the chug? Dude, this f***ing chug is glitched as f***, bro. Another thing that's a bit of a problem is when you're attempting to get a replace on someone's wall, what ends up happening is when you're going for the replace on the wall, especially when you're using the same material as the other person, um, you're looking for the edit symbol. And the edit symbol is essentially going to symbolize uh, that it's your wall, right? Because if it's not your wall, the edit symbol or the edit cue is not going to pop up at all. And originally there's an issue, and it's been like this for a long time, where the edit symbol pops up for like a split second, like just a few frames. Um, and, and, and you know, that really wasn't much of a big deal considering you couldn't really get an edit off by then anyways. But now, for some reason recently, the edit symbol pops up for like a solid second, and then you think it's your wall, you go for the edit, you end up like shooting a blank shotgun at the, at the wall because obviously it's not yours, and then the dude it can essentially just get a free pump on you while you're out in the middle of nowhere thinking the wall is yours when in reality it's his the next thing that's wrong is the cannons the cannons i feel are like when i when i enter the cannon i feel more comfortable and more confident that i'm going to fly you know directly to my left or directly to my right uh than i am that i will be flying straight and considering a lot of people rely on these for uh movement and rotation around the map they need to be able they, you need to be able to rely on them right not like oh half the time it's gonna shoot me straight then the other half the time it's gonna launch me off the map uh, and i'll throw a little clip of stuff like that happening on the screen right now um one which is the clip of it happening to me was like apparently someone said i hit the wooden flap above me but if i hit the wooden flap above me it would have just broken the wooden flap and i would have you know essentially just landed right where i shot the cannon and i would have been able to go again but it, it looks like it just completely bounced off to the left tifu did it i'm pretty sure like out in the middle of the open and just flew into the ocean and then ninja also was in the middle of the open and just got launched off the map completely and as of right now i i think that's kind of it i mean the possibility that there are more bugs is decently high um, I'm not aware of them these are the ones that I'm aware of but in any scenario these bugs could get you killed and I feel like if they want their their you know esports event to be taken as seriously as possible the best thing they can do is fix these sorts of bugs so that all the you know the masses that are competing in this tournament um, aren't roasting them on Twitter about having you know the biggest esports event in history in terms of prize money 
um, on a game where the, the game doesn't even function properly um, at all times because I, I don't really like maybe I'm just unaware but in most competitive games there aren't really bugs or at least at least the, you know more than one um, maybe there's like one or something but there's a multitude of bugs in this game and I feel like if they want their event to be taken as seriously as possible um, which then again I don't really know if that's something that they care about too much um, then their best route is to fix these bugs and if they don't I just kind of wanted to make these video make this video to give you guys a heads up in case you're unaware of them um, so that you don't really get screwed over by them too much in the tournament and um, if you guys want to make sure that my videos actually show up in your sub box just click on the bell next to the sub button also there's a ton of people that have been commenting stuff about like coming back to destiny and saying that I betrayed destiny all I have to say is that when destiny 2 came out not only did I not enjoy the game there was no content to make for it it's not like I could have stayed around and played a game I didn't like just to you know make content for it there were there's nothing to make videos for and the game wasn't fun Fortnite was brand new and honestly had no following on twitch really much at all um, and definitely not YouTube and I just played Fortnite because I enjoyed Fortnite it just so happens that it turned into the biggest game in the world and everyone thinks somehow I'm like some fake bandwagoner that's doing it for money or something I just happened to play Fortnite when Destiny was really bad I got pretty decent at it and then I got signed to 100 Thieves and now I play Fortnite for them so I apologize but I'm also just kind of tired of playing Destiny I've played it for three straight years of my life and I hope that you guys can respect that and maybe I'll play destiny 3 or, or something like that but as of right now I, I'm still pretty burnt out on the whole destiny thing it's not like I hate the game but I definitely couldn't play it you know hours and hours every day uh, so hopefully you guys enjoy the video I stream every day live on twitch over over at twitch.tv slash sir Demetrius and uh, I post clips on Instagram and Twitter my Twitter and Instagram is the same as my twitch and my YouTube name and uh, hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.